Welcome everyone, Visual Effects tutorial here. Today I'm going to introduce you to UVW Map Modifier in 3D Studio Max. UVW Map Modifier is um, the most simple way to correctly map your objects in 3D Studio Max. Why would you like you, you want to um, map your object? The answer is simple because it's the only way to apply textures uh, to your objects correctly without stretchings or ar artifact so here we have a custom a custom mesh but before I'm going to build a simple um, sphere uh, which is um, a primitive and I'll apply our material which is uh, texturized with a Chagger map to our sphere. I have activated the show standard mapping viewport so we can already see the, res the final result of the texture and how it's applied to the object. So, as you can see, the texture is or has been already uh, correctly applied to the sphere. That's because 3D Studio Max primitives have built in mapping so you won't need to remap or modify the uh, the UVW coordinates because 3D Studio Max already provides them. So let's delete the sphere and go on with our custom mesh. We have um, a house shape mesh uh, which I made in one minute and I'm going to drag our material to it. As you can see, uh, some of the parts of the texture are not correctly applied uh, to our object and if we tile it we will notice it so here we have s many errors many stretch many stretching here and so on so here we are going to use let's select the mesh first let's go to the modifier tab and let's add the UVW map modifier. Okay, the first thing you'll notice that this part has not been correctly um, texturized. That's because we currently have a planar mapping. So open uh, this little, open the sub submenu, the UVW mapping modifier, and select the gizmo option. The gizmo is uh, represents the way we map our object. So in this case we have a plane, um, and the uh, and the texture will be projected b um, based on this plane on our object. So if we um, align the plane in, uh, in different um, to the different axes, we'll get different results. So let's try. The X line will align the plane to the uh, to the axis axis but as you can see the um, texture on the other axis will be stretched and this cannot be this cannot be definite um, definitely a good mapping so even with the y ips, uh, ypsilon the y axis is still not a good result that's because the planar mapping cannot be used to uh, correctly map uh, such a a complex mesh so we need to use some other options here cylindrical spherical shrink wrap, wrap box face XYZ to UVW so the best at the moment is the box because the shapes reminds us of box okay that's much better as you can see there are no more stretchings the textures is uh, almost um, uh, correctly applied everywhere and we can say we're pretty satisfied with this but that's not the end of the tutorial of course we have to uh, to look at some other parameters so let's say we move our gizmo and we maybe mismatch I forgot to say that the gizmo can be scaled, rotated and moved just like any other objects into 3D Studio Max so, so if we mismatch accidentally our map 
or we are working with a most uh, more complicated me uh, mesh maybe you want to align your texture and uh, the fastest way to realign the gizmo to the to the mesh is to use the center that will center the uh, giz the gizmos gizmo uh, the gizmos position to the gizmo of the of the object and then there is the center option which is similar and we can also uh, we have the um, uh, region fade the view align in that case we, uh, we choose our view let's say front and by view align the, the, the gizmo will be aligned to the front view and so on okay now um, we can of course collapse our modifier so collapse all yes and we can also add a new UVW map if we maybe want to remap some part of our object so UVW map go back to editable poly and choose uh, the face you want to remap faces and UVW map will consider only these faces just like every other modifier which has a selection before it so uh, let's say we want to scale our text our, our gizmo oh I forgot now this is planar mapping again so let's move it and you you will, you will see the planar mapping happening here okay so we are going to align it our the position our object with the rotation with the rotate tool we can of course scale it in order to tile our texture and align it to the rest of the object we can move it now we got a better result on this area so uh, remember that you can always uh, remap your objects or part of, of your objects in order to fix the stretchings of uh, the um, of your texture on your object so uh, we have some other option uh, mapping option such as the spherical which will transform our gizmo to a sphere and that's not definitely not working with this area of this object it will work with spherical object same thing as shrink wrap which is similar but not uh, the same thing of the spherical mapping because the shrink wrap will um, for, won't truncate the the angles of the of the plane projected to the sphere and then there is the box we already saw and the face which will uh, project our uh, our textures to each face or object um, according to their normal so uh, now we don't see anything happening particularly strange but if we are working with a, a more subdivi subdivided mesh we are going to notice it and then there is a x uh, y z to uvw which i don't suggest you at the moment because it won't, it won't help definitely it won't help so the cylindrical has already also the cap which um, closes the holes of the, of the cylinder and this wor will work with cylindrical uh, objects of course the UVW mapping modifier uh, is often used in with simple meshes if you are working on a character we I personally suggest you to use the unwrap modifier which I'll cover in another tutorial or even more some uh, more advanced tool or external uh, software to map uh, your object correctly okay uh, I think we I show you all the basic feature of this uh, of this modifier uh, as you can see there is the UVW tile in order to tile your texture and 
this is really useful because if you are only going to apply um, a single texture to an object but you want to tile it uh, in different ways in different parts of the object uh, you cannot uh, use just the tiling option on your material but you have to use uh, the UVW matching modifier to uh, work on e each part of the object so this work uh, in the same way as the material editor so as you can see if I s um, bump up this um, the settings the textures will be tiled into the surface of the object. Okay, um, we can also display the seams, so where the textures um, uh, edges will be correspond to the object. And uh, let's try. Okay, as you can see, these are the edges, and the textures is uh, projecting the. And now it's projected to the how the texture is subdivided so uh, that's it thank you for watching thank you for um, sub subscribing me it has been a long time since my last tutorial I have a lot of problems but now I'm definitely back with new tutorials so uh, keep on watching uh, my tutorials if you need them and if you like subscribe to my channel in order to support my activity thank you for watching and goodbye